Control rod connects the actuator to the control surfaces. At the actuator side, we use a piece of brass Z-bend and it's held onto the carbon rod using a piece of tubing or heat shrink tube that we supply. On the side with the control surfaces, we'll use a figure four piece, this metal piece and a heat shrink tubing. And we'll, we'll first work the heat shrink tubing around the figure four metal part. And then we're going to insert the control uh, rod there and heat it up with the heat from a lighter for a few seconds and, until we observe it shrinking. Try not to overheat the carbon rod or the heat shrink tubing too much. Now you can see how you'll be able to make some adjustments uh, in the length of the control rods. In between the actuator to the control surface, we want the linkage to be the correct length so that we have an equal throw in both directions. Here we can see the Z-Bend on the front and the figure four on the rear. Now we can install it on our plane. Thread the Z-Bend through the microact at the wing and then use the figure four to hook into the control horn just by putting it in there and then flipping this part just like so. It just snaps around and holds it in place. Now you can make some adjustments in the length of the control rods so that your rudder is pretty much sticking out straight and so that uh, the actuator will give it motion equally in both directions. Start up your receiver and check to make sure that your control surfaces are moving in the right direction. If they're not, you'll have to pull out a plug and, and reverse it and try again until you get it right. Once you've got it right, you're just about ready to go for a test flight. What do you think?